Want to get yourself an amazing used car deal today? Don't go for the most popular models. Don't go for the cutest models, the latest technology. Go for the models that just aren't selling. When you walk into a dealership and you go in there with an attitude of like, okay, I know the vehicles that have been on the lot for so many days and I have that day count in front of me, then clearly that's an opportunity to get myself a deal. Because if it's been sitting there forever, that just basically means that the dealers generally want to get rid of it. They can't hold on to it. They're losing money the longer a vehicle stays on the lot. So the longer a vehicle stays on the lot, the better deal you're likely going to get. And I'm going to share a list of those 10 vehicles that are on the lots the longest on the used car segment based on iccars.com who analyzes the market trends, what's going on to use, the new vehicles, as well as the dealership. So they've got an accumulation of the vehicles that sit on the lot the longest. Let's start at the bottom of the list with the Buick Enclave. 64.3 days it spends on average on a car lot. It also transacts for a little over $32,000 and nobody really wants a Buick. Buick's old news. When you think of Buick, you think old gray hairs, you think Palm Springs golf courses, and you think the fact that it's just not a hippity brand lower on technology GM isn't the most popular brands to begin with and then they go and build another model like this so they created these models that are just filling gaps upon gaps that people aren't even looking for and quite frankly we even know that Buick is now about 2,000 car lots or dealerships have now given up their rights because of EB, EVs they're trying to essentially say we want no part of that a little bit of amalgamation or liquidation if you will of some of the Buick car dealerships and clearly not the most popular but that's what's going on in the first spot the second one is a Chrysler 300 we're talking 64.7 days on a car lot and they average about $25,000 so if you want one of those and you think you need one on your way to the hot tub sales convention that might be your bet personally it's not the best vehicle but if you want to have it there it is you can get your hands on one and they've been sitting on the lot for a significant amount of time on average the next one on the list is the Chevy Blazer we know the Blazers there's been some popularity tied to them although the durability isn't yet dialed in we new engine configurations with some of these and they're just not highly sought after honestly they're sitting on the lot a long time GM also scaled up a lot of their SUVs and trucks and there's just a lot of them sitting around on the new market as well that transitions down onto used car market there's just not a lot of want for a lot of these vehicles and about 66 days on the car lot on average they swap hands for a little over $31,000 the next one in line is the Land Rover Range Rover. We know their reputation precedes them. They're literally ranked the most unreliable car on the market today. Now, they average out about 68 days on the car lot, and eventually when they sell, they go for about $75,000 on average. So not a highly sought after vehicle. And again, when you get into one, especially in the used car market, you would anticipate some high repairs. Make sure if you're gonna buy one, CPO, get your extended warranty, and you might be okay. The Tesla Model X is the next one. We've spoken about this before. We know Teslas and a lot of the EV markets now recently have been slumping. Tesla's been really pushing the sales of their new EVs. They've even slashing prices. And so when you chop your prices on the new market, it's hard for people to want to buy a used one when some of the people that had those used ones and they're even a year or two years old are trying to unload them and because they were underwater so far they're having to ask more money for that used car that might be two years old than what Tesla's selling a brand new one that also has incentives. So uh, Teslas are a real snookered spot. A lot of EVs are in a real snookered spot and Tesla Model X is having a tough time selling. 71 and a half days average is how long they roughly sit on a car lot for and when they finally sell you would expect a little over 70000 closer to $71,000 is the average transaction price of course we talk about base model standard extended range as well as the plaids when you average that out it's about 70k the next one on the list is another beauty the Cadillac XT4 has been noted as one of the more unpopular and certainly more unreliable more problematic and one of those vehicles that a lot of customers when they buy them they regret and they literally wouldn't buy again it's the xt4 it is a mid-size suv it looks great but after some ownership time behind the wheel most customers just realize it's not the vehicle that they hoped it would be and as a result they don't sell all that well used car prices change hands are just about thirty two thousand dollars and about 72 days on the car lot is roughly how they're going to sit we're talking well over two months time is how long those vehicles are going to sit on the car lot and we're assuming vehicles that are in good shape Shape with no accident history clean that's assuming the best case scenario so they're not selling all that quickly people are just on to the Cadillac brand the next one in line is the Land Rover 
Another big failure, but the Discovery Sport. I had a neighbor that had one there. They had it on a lease for two years, and I talked to them, and they said they weren't really overly satisfied with it. They actually traded it in and bought themselves a Lexus. So at the end of the day, they're not all that popular. They're not changing hands very quickly. And quite frankly, it's if you need to have one, get the brand new one. There's lots of incentives from Land Rover to get your hands on these new ones. Buying a used one represents a big risk from a reliability and cost out of your wallet's perspective. As a result, people just know that. The reputation of Land Rover definitely precedes them. And so that takes us to the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Everybody knows the Mustang Mach-E had high hopes for sales. It never turned out. It's just not selling. Neither is the Ford Lightning F-150. As a result, F-150's been scaled back 50%. They've said Ford is literally admitting they're not going to sell as many. There's not the demand that they were once hoping as well. They're trying to throw out incentives and sell these vehicles just to keep the numbers up and try to motivate customers to buy them. I mean, they're deep in debt. Ford has spent a lot of money on R&D to keep these vehicles or get these vehicles out to market and now they can't sell them. So the Mustang Mach-E is one of the biggest losers in the Ford marketplace and certainly in the electric vehicle market. Those average about 75.8 days on your average car lot and they change hands for about 42503 bucks. Yeah, they're not highly sought after. Again, two and a half months later they might sell if they're lucky. And Instead of lucky, an unlucky little soldier is the next one. It's a Buick. Buick Envision. I envision this thing going away by the dodo bird because it's not highly sought after either. Nobody wants them. They're on the market a long time. And if you really need to have one, use the numbers of days on the car lot as your bargaining chip because you can still get yourself a great deal. There's some tightening at the dealership levels just to thin out the herd, so to speak. And Buick in general is not doing all that well. So as a result, the Envision sits about 82.3 days on a car lot. We're pretty much talking almost three months. And they change hands for a little over 29 grand. And so the biggest loser, but it could be the biggest winner for you. If you really need to have one, we spoke of electric vehicles, how they're not selling. And clearly, when we talk about plaids, everybody knows the fastest car on the planet today that you can buy it for less than $5 million is a Tesla Model S plaid. And that takes us to the next one. Number one spot is the Tesla Model S is the vehicle that literally sits on the lot the longest. Nobody's buying used EVs because the incentives aren't there. Technology is getting better every year. So if you're buying a used Model S or any used EV, you're likely already two steps behind. But if you really find yourself needing to have one and maybe the Model S is the model that you want, 88.3 days on a car lot, that's pretty much three months by my count. But I've never been all that good at math, so there you go. And the average transaction price is a little over $65,000. Again, when you incorporate everything from the Plaid, long range, base model, and through all of those generations, you're averaging 65 grand. So if you want yourself a great deal, and you have to have that vehicle, it's not saying these vehicles don't have a place in your garage, it just means if your heart's set on that, you definitely want to use those days on the car lot as a bargaining chip. The opportunity to get yourself a great deal because the longer these cars sit on a lot, the better deal you're going to get. Well, I hope that helps everybody. Please do drop a line below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Any other big losers or opportunities out there? And on top of that, be sure to check out that great video. What's going on with Jeep and Stellantis and Ram? That's a tough time right now. So hope to see each and every one of you on the next one. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.